Hey guys, welcome back. The channel is growing very fast. I'm just glad that you guys are enjoying the videos and are giving the feedback, okay? It's very nice for me. So before going further to other microservice, in this video, we are going to talk about the consumer, okay? Before going further, I would like to show you guys what I have done here. For example, here, instead of having like in the previous video, all the mapping between our customer DTO and our customer domain object in controller, I have created here a new a new interface, okay, which is a mapper. This mapper will do the job of mapping, okay, from our DTO to our customer. So, as you can see here, the controller is much clear, okay, it's clean now. So, the other thing that I did here was the creation of this interface also that will aggregate all the events related to our customer, okay? So in that order, I have here the sealed interface, which is Java 17. I'm using it here because it's very nice in order to maintain the control of your interface and the objects inside, inside them. So as we can see here, we have the first event here, which is a record, okay, customer created. So if we go back here, instead of sending like before, instead of sending, uh, for example, our domain object, our customer, we are sending now an event, okay? So here, as you can see, we are sending the customer event and inside of customer event, we have the customer created. And also we could, for example, and we will have later, for example, here, we could just have, for example, um, email changed, okay, event. So we can have uh, different events here and they are aggregated in one place so if we try to uh, read this interface or the customer event it will be more clear right so and the last thing that i i did maybe was just to use it here as we can see okay we are using this customer event before we were using the customer object but we are not using anymore because it's the best practices to send a dto never never uh, share your domain object outside of your application so we are doing it okay by creating this interface that we are going to have here different events and yes so this is what i'm doing here so instead of sending this customer okay i'm sending the customer event so how i'm doing it i'm just using here okay the mapper okay and i create here the customer um event so I hope you take a look here because it's very simple. Okay, just few lines that I have changed. Okay, and other thing. So uh, the previous videos, I was showing you guys that we need to always test the application. Okay, so as you can see, I have all unit testing. Okay, and if you take a look here, we have also this uh, new field that we have here in our controller, in our customer DTO, which is uh, social security number okay that we are going to use in another microservice so now let's go to the creation of the microservice which will consume all these events that we are uh, sending okay that we are producing uh, in this microservice which is customer microservice just to remember you guys maybe i was not uh, explaining what we are doing here but for now let's just see we have here a customer so the customer in the first video, we had the customer just create the customer and we publish the event customer created. Now we, we are going to create a microservice which will consume this event customer created. The name of microservice will be decision. OK, so this microservice will take the customer, for example, some fields like uh, let me just see here. For example, social security number, and we'll make some decision for this customer if we can give him money or not. So this is what we are going to do. Now we are going to create the microservice called decision that we will uh, uh, consume an event from Kafka, okay, and do something. Now let's go to the microservice which will consume, okay, these events. So let's go.